say that I'm at the company that produced the first Swiss type lathe, the first multi spindle machine, and the first multi spindle machine with a numeric control. You'd probably guess Tornos, and if you did, you'd be correct. I'm at Moutier in Switzerland. I'm at one of their factories. I've come to learn more about their machines that are predominantly used for turn part production. In fact, over 200,000 machines are installed around the world. They employ a thousand people and operate out of 16 sites, four of which are factories. I'm at one of those factories today here in Moutier and I'm going to learn about and tell you about the range of machines that they supply. Tornos for their multi-spindle technology and nothing's changed there because this is their latest machine the multi-swiss 632 they now go up to 32 mil bar diameter with this six spindle multi-spindle machine the swiss nano machines i love this machine this will actually turn parts up to four millimeters diameter this is ideal for the watch industry the dental industry uh, the medical industry and in fact in September they're launching a new version which will do up to 7 mil diameter bar and even for those engineers that don't have turning centers or sliding head lays Tornos do have an entry-level machine in the CT20 which is now the latest version of version 2 now the version 2 machine is a guide bush and non guide bush machine you can change from one to the other within 30 minutes this machine is an ideal starting point when you're looking at small turn part production a real gateway into Tornos's world so a company with so much history and heritage still has very modern beliefs which we'll see is evident behind me here their latest investment a Studer cylindrical grinder for internal and external grinding not only on diameters but also on threads as well uh, this is used uh, for their spindles and the barrels on the multi spindles and this is one of the many factories where Tornos machines are assembled ready to go to the customer. And if affordability is a concern, why not opt for a refurbished machine, just like this machine here, or what's going to happen to this machine? In fact, every year, Tornos refurbish around about 40 machines, and when they start the process, they look like this. And this is what it's like when it's finished. Would you believe from that to this in less than two months? Then there's the GT range, the Swiss GT32, complex parts, B-axis, guide bush and non-guide bush. This is a popular range. And what about latest innovations? Well, how about the Swiss Deco? Brand new machines to the range. You've got the 26, the 36. What's different? What stands out? Well, they, these machines can come with a turret, a 12-station turret. They can also have the option of a B-axis on that turret. They're incredibly powerful machines, incredibly productive productive lots of tools 49 tools 28 driven tools and as you see on this machine this one has a turret and this is where it all started back in 1875 this was the first Swiss type lathe that was built and you can see as you get close to this this was a handcrafted uh, quality machine that just goes to show that even in those days they were far ahead of their competition just like Tornos are today